Ever pondered on the smallest book in the Old Testament, yet one packed with profound messages? Welcome as we delve into the book of Obadiah. This intriguing book may be the shortest in the Old Testament, but it is by no means short on depth and importance. Penned by the prophet Obadiah, whose name means Servant of the Lord, it carries a robust narrative that unfolds within a fascinating historical context. Set against the backdrop of the ancient Near East, the book of Obadiah explores themes of justice, retribution, and ultimately, hope. It's a compelling piece of biblical literature that offers valuable insights into the human condition and our relationship with the divine. So no matter its brevity, the book of Obadiah stands tall among biblical texts, its messages resonating across centuries. Now let's explore this compact yet meaningful book chapter by chapter. Obadiah, a single chapter book, starts with a vision. But what does this vision imply? The vision received directly from the Lord is a prophecy about the nation of Edom. Edom, a nation steeped in history, was actually founded by Esau, Jacob's brother. This makes Edom and Israel, Jacob's descendants, close relatives, yet the relationship between these two nations was far from amicable. The vision reveals Edom's arrogance, a trait that would soon lead to their downfall. Perched high on the cliffs nestled within the clefts of the rocks, Edom felt invincible, secure in their mountain stronghold. They believed their wisdom was unparalleled, their strength unassailable, their fortifications impregnable. Who will bring me down to the ground? They asked, confident in their invulnerability. Yet, the Lord had a different perspective. He saw through their pride and arrogance. He understood that their reliance on their own wisdom and strength, rather than on Him, was their downfall. He declared, Though you soar like the eagle and make your nest among the stars, from there, I will bring you down. The reasons for Edom's impending doom were numerous. Their pride and arrogance were certainly factors, but so too was their indifference and inaction during Israel's time of distress. When foreign invaders attacked Jerusalem, Edom not only stood by and did nothing, they even rejoiced over their brother's calamity. Worse still, they took advantage of the situation, seizing the city's wealth and refusing to let the survivors escape. God saw all of this. He saw Edom's pride and arrogance, their indifference and cruelty. He saw how they had turned their back on their brother in his time of need. In response, he promised to make them small among the nations, despised by all. Clearly the pride of Edom sets them up for a fall. But there's more to this chapter, let's continue. The downfall of Edom continues in the second part of the chapter. Let's unravel the details. As we delve deeper into the book of Obadiah, we encounter the second part of the chapter, which outlines the consequences of Edom's actions towards their brother nation Israel. The Edomites, descendants of Esau, had a long history of conflict with Israel, the descendants of Jacob. This conflict, however, reached a peak when Edom stood by and did nothing to help their brothers during a time of great distress. The second part of the chapter paints a vivid picture of the repercussions of Edom's inaction. It serves as a reminder that the choices we make, or choose not to make, can have far-reaching implications. Edom's decision to abandon their brothers in their hour of need was not without consequence. The book of Obadiah powerfully communicates that their downfall was a direct result of this. Now let's focus on the concept of the Day of the Lord. This term, which appears throughout the Bible, is a reference to a time when God's judgment will be enacted upon the earth. In the context of Obadiah, the Day of the Lord is the Day of Reckoning for Edom. It is the day when they must face the consequences of their actions against Israel. The significance of the Day of the Lord is that it underscores the inevitability of divine justice. It emphasizes that actions have consequences and those who do wrong will ultimately have to answer for their deeds. For Edom, their Day of the Lord was a time of downfall and desolation, a direct consequence of their actions against Israel. So we see that the second part of the chapter illustrates the downfall of Edom, a downfall brought about by their actions and inaction. It serves as a stark reminder of the power of choices and the inevitability of consequences. Edom's actions against Israel bring about their downfall, but what does this mean for us today? Having explored Obadiah's prophecy against Edom, let's draw some modern-day applications. This ancient book, nestled within the pages of the Bible, may be slim in volume, but it's brimming with timeless wisdom. Let's delve into the key lessons that Obadiah imparts to us. First off, we encounter the peril of pride. 
Edom's arrogance, their belief in their invincibility led them down a path of destruction. Today we can take this as a warning against letting pride cloud our judgment or lead us to underestimate others. It's a reminder to remain humble, to treat others with respect, and to remember that no one is invincible. The second profound lesson from Obadiah revolves around brotherly kindness, or rather, the lack of it. Edom's failure to aid their brother Israel in their time of need was a grave mistake. In our lives this serves as a reminder to extend kindness and help to those around us, especially those who we consider our family or friends. It's a call to empathy, to understanding, and to love. Obadiah also teaches us about the consequences of our actions. Edom's pride and lack of brotherly kindness led to their downfall. This is a timeless truth, our actions whether good or bad will have consequences. It encourages us to think before we act, to consider the potential ramifications of our decisions. Drawing parallels to modern-day situations, we can see the relevance of Obadiah's message. In a world often driven by arrogance and self-interest, Obadiah's words ring true, they remind us to be humble, to be kind and to be mindful of our actions. Indeed Obadiah may be brief, but it is a goldmine of wisdom and warning. Remember, no action goes unnoticed, and pride precedes a fall. These timeless truths captured in the ancient text of Obadiah continue to guide us in our modern world. They remind us to live with kindness, humility, and a keen awareness of the consequences of our actions.